Hey, welcome back to my uh, Blender detail modeling course. This is chapter seven. In this chapter, I want to talk about a quicker way to create tight seams between adjacent panels. In a previous tutorial, I talked about using our cut tools and uh, using them as shrink wrap tar targets to create tight seam between panels. And this works really well for odd angles, for panels that bend, for panels that have curves in them. But if you have a panel that happens to be perfectly aligned with the X, Y, or Z axis, there is a faster way to get uh, nice, crisp, tight panel lines. So here we can see I have a panel that that doesn't line up to the edge anymore, right? I've bent it out of shape. So we can fix that by selecting the panel itself and then the cut tool that was used to create it. I'm just gonna isolate that. And if we go into edit mode, wireframe, and I'm gonna select the vertices along the edge that I want to shrink. And I'm gonna shift select any one of the vertices of the cutting tool. Make sure you're in active element because then what's gonna happen is we're gonna shrink to this point in the, uh, the Y axis because I wanna shrink along the Y axis. So if I hit S, Y, zero, it's gonna scale right up to that right up to that point in the Y axis. And you could obviously do this also in the X and Z axis, depending on how things are lined up. So that's a quick way to do that. I would also recommend that if you did move them any distance at all, you might want to go to your shrink wrap modifier, the one that snuggles it down to the base mesh, uh, duplicate that, and then apply it. And that'll just make sure that the points that you, you moved, the ones that were in here, they're all jaggy. It's just gonna make sure that those are actually as close to the base mesh as they can possibly be. All right, so that's it for the quick tip. In the next segment, I'm gonna talk about cutting these access panels that we see in the model. Uh, so creating panels within panels. All right, I'll see you in the next session.